back to my channel today I will be sharing the newest agenda to my collection that I have recently found and so excited to share with you guys and then I also thought I would use this time to also talk about just my medium ring agendas in general my thoughts on them uh, because I've shared like pros and cons with them at least in my opinion and so I thought this would be great to show y'all how I'm using them how I like why I added another one and so on so let's go ahead and jump right into the newest edition which is the Louis Vuitton Epi Leather Agenda. So I have this in the large GM size. This is a vintage piece because it has the gold hardware. So that's something that I can't do silver. I love gold. I wanted the gold, especially since the larger one is gold. I wanted to make sure that I found this. I found this on eBay for a steal. I got it for less than $200. And I think it was like 130. Um, there is, you can definitely tell it's vintage. It's worn like a little bit, which I don't care because you don't really see it. Um, I already fixed. There's like a gaping, a gape like here, and I already fixed it. To me, that's really easy to use. If you use a rubber, if you find an agenda, um, if you use a rubber band to like push it together, that's all you really need to do. And if you like take pressure off of it, like it's pretty easy to like. Um, fix the rings in my opinion at least from what I found um I always put a lot of stuff like in and out of my agendas and so I notice that sometimes that'll happen and so just from experience I use rubber bands like put it to get like um just wrap it around overnight and then it fixes it and so when I saw that um I knew that was probably one of the biggest reasons why it wasn't selling and I knew I could fix it so um did that and now it's officially gone but yeah you have the same setup so you have the Louis Vuitton pairs here card holders, um, back secretary uh, folder, and then, I'm sorry, <laughs> flap, uh, pen holder, and then I'll be up front, and just that beautiful epi leather. So, why did I get this? Um, great question, because I've talked about how I know I'm an A5 person, and I have now three medium ring personal size agendas, these are way more portable than the GM, right? Like it's significantly lighter. And if you saw my most recent unboxing, I purchased the Louis Vuitton Riviera handbag, which I absolutely love. And that'll be my consulting professional um, agenda, or I'm sorry, my professional bag that I use. And I wanted to get an agenda um, that would fit inside of it that I could take with me um, for just anything, right? So like just a general um, use, agenda because that's more portable um my other two medium rings have purpose and so that's why also why i wanted to talk to you about these as well um but for the most part i knew i just also wanted it to add it to my collection right so i know a lot of people do collect these agendas and they don't use all of them but if i have it i want to try and use it or at least use it for storage right like i'm going to make some use out of it and so that's what i like to do with my agendas and so um, I saw this for, the, again, the great price on eBay. I saw it was just worn a little bit, which comes like with the nature of, you know, some vintage pieces, especially um, that I think this one's like 20 or 30 years old. So um, it still looks great, right? Like it's still impeccable like condition overall, in my opinion. And I don't even see like the wear up top. So I don't really care to be honest with you guys. So especially for that price point. <laughs> but yeah, we have this. It matches my bag, which I'm really happy. And honestly, the only thing I have in here is some inserts from Hobby Lobby. So these are $2.99. You get them 40% off during their 40% off sales. So I have three packs in here, and this is just a glorified notebook. Um, I have this overview tab from Cloth and Paper, and it's just like a five section notebook for, again, just random notes. This is really, I can take this with me. I can write whatever I need in here. If I'm working at Starbucks, if I'm out for work, um, I have a section for each, you know, aspect of my life and I can just write things in here. And then I don't care how many pages I use because it's like a dollar seventy at Hobby Lobby for an entire pack. So all of these together were like what six dollars, not even. Um and so it's just a like, you know, a nice notebook and it matches. It's very subtle um, because of the epi leather. 
and I absolutely love it and I'm really happy that I was able to add it to my collection. So that is the newest agenda. Again, absolutely love it. Um, love how it looks with my GM and then with the bag itself and I can put this in any bag, which I love. So added this. And again, this is a now general notebook. That's kind of how I was using my monogram and so that's why I figured I would give you all an update with the medium rings. So I turned this into a just content planning planner. So again, same inserts from Hobby Lobby, very cheap. Um, and then I have an inbox and outbox tab from cloth and paper. And then I had these inserts that I purchased just for like a monthly overview for these agendas. Um, and now I'm just using it to write in like videos. So that way I knew um, what's going out and when. I have my schedule all planned out and I'm making use of these inserts. So we have that and then we just have my notes where I like write everything I need to do, uh, like talk about in videos, anything for collaborations, just lists in general. Um, so yeah, that's how I'm using this one. This is just my content planner now. And this one doesn't leave the house. Like I don't need to take this with, right? And that's why it's in the monogram. Um, and one reason why I really wanted to use this for my content planning. And then my second newest agenda, which is the Chanel agenda, again, another vintage piece that I love. This is still for consulting. Um, so it still has the same setup. So I still have all of my like tactical planning for consulting in here, some dailies, projects meeting notes, hourly to track times, um, meeting notes are actually filled out, and then some notes. So what I love is that if I want to go work somewhere, I can take both of these with, right? So this will have all of my plans in here and just anything to reference, and then I can take notes as well. So this again is widely used, so for more than just consulting, even though I do have a consulting section in here, um, but if I'm doing something specifically for consulting, I can now easily take both of these agendas with me if I need to. And I have all the plans in here and they'll fit just like one size GM. And so um, I'm really loving using this as kind of like, a, this is a perfect duo with everything. It works well with all of the planner systems that I have. And that's why I wanted to have just one versatile catch-all, if you will, planner. So yeah um that's my medium rings i know a lot of people love personal size i've mentioned that for me it really depends on the insert and so when i get inserts that you know there's just not a lot of space to write i write pretty big that's where i have the issues but when it comes to just like a general notebook that's why you'll see a lot of these have just notes for essentially right like um i have my gm agenda for consulting as well so this is just supplementary for that and it works for me because like my primary plans aren't in here. I can write things out in the main agenda. And so this is again, just used additionally to that. That's pretty much what all of these do. Um, they're notebooks slash just additional plans. And so that's how I've learned I prefer to use medium ring agendas. Um, and I just wanted one more for just to keep all for everything. So. Yeah, other than that, that is the newest agenda to the collection. A little update and a little bit about how I use my personal rings. And that is going to be it for this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. And thank you guys so much for watching.